hate your guts. <laughs> you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bigger booth, and um, it came to me, I think, quite spontaneously in the sense that I, I, I'm always fascinated with the fact that uh, people are never listening to each other when they talk or or we say the same things all the time. How dare you tell me what to think? <laughs> You're no prize yourself. <laughs> you can't make a fool out of me. Pain and suffering makes you happy. Pain and suffering makes you happy. I feel very sad about it all. You hurt my feelings. The truth is whatever you make it. The truth is whatever you make it. You're going to eat those words. But I like the idea of a booth where you're protected and you've got a You've got a window here so that you're, you're talking to someone and they're framed and, and they're protected. Uh, I, so I started collecting these little phrases I would from TV or uh, sitcoms or whatever I was watching. And, but then I, I, I collected them on about 400 uh, uh, cards and uh, some people have come back several times <laughs> to <laughs> just a bigger. So that's the, uh, that's the bigger belief. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they are simple iconographic uh, faces. I, I didn't. I wanted them. I wanted it to be read uh, as as quickly and as as simply as possible. The uh, face of anger or happiness or sadness. And if you actually look at these faces, you'll see that the anger eyes are exactly the same as the sadness eyes. They just switched around. And then uh, sadness uh, fit, uh, mouth is exactly the same as the happy mouth. Smile, so, you have a happy face. Yeah. It's almost four. <laughs> That's great. And to get people even more involved, I, uh, I, I, I put in uh, what I, I these uh, wonderful quotes that I found from people. Uh, and this one I love over here. Start off every day with a smile and get it over with. It gives you a foundation and then you do what you will with it. Not just someone giving you their point of view. It's so you build upon what you what you see. This piece here that we are standing by, uh, I call it drift, and it's really an outdoor piece and it's kind of an optical uh, kind of an optical thing. And uh, when these things are moving, they they start to create another optical illusion. Terrific. <laughs> wow, how'd you get to this? How'd I get to this? Yeah, it's incredible. Actually, you know what got me to this one? Tell me. Michelangelo. How's that? What's well, he joke? was on his back when he was doing the Sistine Chapel. Indeed. And, and I said to myself, I need to have a, 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 an artwork where I'm on my <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, why do you have to stand to see an artwork? I thought, well, uh, lie, lie around and, and also I love the idea of uh, the fact that we become part of it. So. Look at those circles! Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who's ever seen a mirror on the bottom of a table? Just like our bedroom, right? But your 
part of the art. It's fun, though. There's spinning bits, and then Hold there's on, you and me yeah. in the art. I'm going to take our picture. Are you going to take our picture in the art? Yes, I am. <laughs> I could just do this all night. I don't know the Patrick's thing. <laughs> 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 and I'm fascinated with the idea of anyone coming to a work of art and bringing experience, their own experience to it. And, uh, and the, uh, no matter what kind of art uh, is on the wall, and uh, so I try to play with that experience, that space between the, the art and the, and, the, and the person. So even with these wall pieces, I, I try to provide a, um, uh, a way in which uh, we, uh, we play together. And in some way, these are, these are surrogates for me. So people can actually adjust the paintings or, or change the paintings uh, or constructions. I've thought these through in vari on the variations. But, um, you know, you can break them apart, you can um, twist them differently. Uh, I kind of like them when they're broken and dynamic like this. But, uh, so these, are, these have been fun to do. But this is really, um, you know, um, uh, as I say, a model for a, a, a piece of public art that uh, I would love to have people about this big. And uh, so this would be about eight feet tall. And, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a wonderful piece because uh, you can walk through it and you can, um, uh, people uh, can discover each other uh, through it. And, uh, uh, you know, it promotes a, a certain amount of interaction and play. and. Um, uh, you know, and I love this idea that you get the one, the one piece that goes, you can see all the way through the, the piece and then these other pieces that are on, a, on an angle. It's nice to look at as a piece, but it's also uh, uh, promotes, a, uh, you know, what I like to do is have people interact, so. Because the sun shifts and uh, the color hidden and behind here gets lit and reflects back and turns it kind of a pink orange color This piece is called At Every Turn, and uh, at every turn you get a, um, a statement and which changes. There are nine turnstiles here, but this piece could be endless. It could be a sea of turnstiles, and that's what I would really love to, to have. Somebody had said that Bob Gregson has never done a work of art in his entire career or anything that remotely resembles one. So uh, instead of getting upset, I laughed. So I went and I typed it up and I had it notarized so I could swear that I would never do a work of art in my entire <laughs> career or anything that remotely resembles yeah. one. So I wanted to make sure that uh, you know nobody ever catches me making art. <laughs> 